Rookie. Rookie. Wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. Officially in Peggy country. How much longer? And just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. 10-4. White Horse to dispatch, over. Hello, We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. Still planning to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate, P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. Church, stick close. Eyes open. These folks can speak easily. Rook, I need to know. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing? Stay calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ, you're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much in here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. Hey, you, stop to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And 
there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on, hold on. Marshall. We will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more sick. suffering. Oh, fuck. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that service with We knew this moment would come. We were prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Cuffs on him. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Take point, we're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. I'm ordering you to stand back.
like me. Please, uh, are you there? Is, is somebody there? Please. I told you that God wouldn't let you take me. Just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. Protect us as long as we trust in the Father. I'm gonna try and get out of time. Anyone still out there? Listen.
Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Okay, shh.
that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. <sighs> Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. <laughs> 